As part of my never-ending quest to rid the world of garbage films, I have taken to different streaming services over the years to give you reviews of films that are exclusively released there. Hulu has one that just came out called Mr. Crockett, a horror movie just in time for the holidays, and one that has a funny, unique premise. But is it any good? Well, you'll be surprised to find out. Well, no, you won't be surprised if you know this channel. No, it's not good. Let's talk about it. Before I pop in the VHS tape and talk about this horror flick, if you wouldn't mind just popping that subscribe, it takes a second of your time, it's free of charge, and that way you can see more of me in the future if you would like. I would appreciate it. You know what I didn't appreciate? Wasting an hour and 25 minutes of my time. That's a pro and a con, because at least this film knows that it sucks, and it's not going to waste too much of your precious moments on Earth. But it is going to take some of it away. Now I did kind of start on a positive note, and I stand by it. This is a unique premise at least. Sure, it probably has been done in the horror slasher community a million times. I just am not familiar with anything like it. Where essentially we have a Mr. Rogers meets Pee Wee Herman type character. He's got talking chairs and creatures and other things. Who is going to be coming out of a VHS player? No, that's not original. And even we have The Ring. We have a whole bunch of movies around TVs and VHS players. But still, the idea of this like happy-go-lucky character who's coming out of the TV to murder bad parents and then steal their kids? That's something that could be fun. Could be in the keyword there. Now on IMDb, this film says it's rated TVMA. I don't, I don't know why that's a thing and it's not rated R, but maybe because when it doesn't go to theaters, that's what they do now. I just, I've never seen that before in a film release, but anyway, it's rated TVMA. And you do feel that in the first five minutes and really never again. You see, this movie starts with a bang and I'm pretty sure it used up most of its budget in this scene. You have a terrible dad yelling at his kid to eat his food. Oh, Crockett, who's playing on the TV set in the other room, comes into the room and starts making the father eat disgusting stuff on a plate. Well, dad's not going to go through the mouth, so Crockett's going to take it right through the stomach, cuts it open, and starts force-feeding different items. Not just food, but at one point an iron, for some reason, goes in there. Really setting the stage for a gross... Terrifier-esque movie based around a classic character that children love. Except for it never really does this again. There's only one other scene where Crockett shows up to kill a father who's doing some drugs in the other room. And this one is so tame. He puts a gun to the guy's mouth and a bubble blows his head off. That's it. That's the entire moment. And then we're into the final act already, mercifully so. Because again, this is short at least. There's just no other way to say it. These streaming movies suck. These exclusives almost always are trash. At the best, they're watchable. But this one's barely even that. It's a hard thing to watch because when Crockett's not on the screen, who, the actor does a fine job with him. He's just kind of doing creepy smiles. There's no like fun dialogue really. There isn't a lot of humor in this. No dark humor. It's just... It's just there. There was some idea on paper at some point that could have been fun if they played it out better, but they don't. Had he used his props, like maybe a talking couch was like, let's have him come in the thinking chair. And then he goes in there and the couch like eats the guy or something. That would be creative and playing off of Blue's Clues. Like there's so many kids shows you could have had fun with, with this concept, but they don't. It's bare minimum. It's get it out the door in time for Halloween crap. So what's the major plot here? <laughs> major, that's the name of the boy in this film. We're going to be following Summer and her son Major. Major who's a major pain. This kid sucks. His dad just died, so I guess we'll give him a little bit of leeway, but not much. The kid is annoying, he's obnoxious, he's kind of a prick. And his mom is at her wit's end with him. Now, I want to point something out. The, the worst invention, the most annoying invention in mankind is a whistle. If you didn't know that, I'm telling you this for the first time. A whistle is just atrocious to listen to. And so naturally, Major, being a total piece of shit kid, is going to take his dad's whistle that his mom gave him in the previous scene. If he ever needs help, she'll be there for him. And he's going to use it against her and start whistling up a storm throughout the film to the point where I could not wait for Mr. Crockett to put this kid out of his misery. Unfortunately, he brings him into his little TV show. 
And that's the premise here. Mr. Uh, Crocoshit is going to kidnap Major and the mom is going to freak out looking for him. Why? I ask myself, why? Just let the kid go. Just be done. You're out. You won. She should be running down the street singing, I got a golden ticket. Is that Summer? What's going on, Summer? My shitty son Major's been kidnapped. Oh, well, that's lovely news. He was such an atrocious child. I've got a golden ticket. Subscribe for kid shaming. I think I said pretty much everything there is to say about this film. There's just truly nothing more. The way it's shot is a little kooky. It has kind of a crappy low budget look to it. I imagine this was a low budget production. Mr. Crocoshit has a little magic marker that he can draw doors and stuff to walk in and out of his dimension. We do learn a backstory on the character. It's not interesting. It leads to nothing at the end of the day. And then the movie thankfully ends. You get up. You say nothing to your wife who sat through this movie with you. You leave the room, you go into the bathroom, take a hard look at yourself in the mirror. There's master chefs out there. There's historians. There's people that travel the world. Hell, there's people that just get up in the morning, drive around in a garbage truck and pick up trash. And then there's me, a movie critic, the lowest of the low. This is what I'm doing with my life, watching Mr. Crockett, an exclusive on Hulu. How? Utterly depressing. Oh, the things we do, huh? <laughs> the things we do. The things we see. All right, that's all I have for you on Mr. Crocus shit. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please, again, think of subscribing to the channel. Just, just throw me a bone. Hit the notification bell. Like the video. Share it if you want. And if you really appreciate or pity me, think about becoming a patron. At patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. Multiple tier levels with different offerings, including my favorite show, The Cringe, which is exclusive every month for Patreon members. There's 300 exclusive videos. There's just a lot there. It's, it's getting better every month. And hopefully, I catch you next time. Take care.